courage and drive runs through the veins of Paralympian and Vanderbilt professor Anjali Forber Pratt. There's many times as I look back on my life where I probably shouldn't have made it. You know, I was abandoned as an orphan, as, as a baby. I then acquired my disability, which led to my paralysis. Um, there's a lot of times that, that the world kind of showed their hand of, of in some ways giving up on me, that somehow from within myself, there's always been that desire to fight and that desire to drive. Seeing adventure through adversity. When I was about five years old, um, saw for the very first time one of the huge sporting events, the Boston Marathon, and that was when I saw people in racing wheelchairs, and I begged and pleaded my parents to pretty please get involved in sport. Fast forward to college and graduate school, Forber Pratt elevated that drive in back-to-back -back summer Paralympic Games. It's incredible. I mean, you know, I remember walking into the stadium, there's 91,000 fans in the stadium, all there to support your dream. That passion is now what drives Forber Pratt's research in disability identity development. Individuals with disabilities often don't have somebody who shares that same identity within that nuclear family. So similar to LGBT populations, people with disabilities have to find that community first. One way that I study that um, is, is also the role that sport may play as individuals develop this thing called identity. For me, sport was the way that I found other kids like me, other kids who used wheelchairs, other kids who were dealing with, you know, the frustrations of their school not being accessible. She's also working to raise civil rights protections for people with disabilities around the globe. I was able to share some of the research um, from work that I've done in Bermuda, Ghana, and Zambia in particular um, to help to grow and, and develop their Paralympic sport programs and how that can be a catalyst for social change. From the Olympic stage to excelling in higher education, Forber Pratt is winning big. What it comes down to is the power of role models. So being five years old, that was the first time that I saw women with disabilities competing in sport and, and it opened my world to this whole world of possibilities.